And welcome back to Paddling Pool 226. We are now in round two of single elimination bracket. I am Pat here with Chili Boy. And you've seen so much action, <laughs> crazy teams, crazy games, and it's only going to get more intense from now on because, like, these are the best teams we got. These are the cream of a crop. And uh, Chili, I can't wait to watch some games. Pat, man, the, the caliber of gameplay this evening so far has been incredible. We've seen game three every single time. We've seen multiple games come down to a singular point. We've seen multiple overtime comebacks. We've seen the Snipe Writer pop off. We've seen Blob Lobber win a game. <laughs> We've seen Hydra. We've seen Flings. We've just seen so much action. And uh, yeah, casted just wonderfully by Majora as well. As uh, uh, one of our streamers, as well as a commentator, Man of Many, many Talents, and, and Zari that just brings such a wonderful, joyful energy to the set. So, oh man, I'm... I'm loving this community and this game so much right now, and I, I I can't wait to see where we go from here because if it gets better than how it's been, wow, we're in for a ride. Well, we're going to start on Tower Control Mako, and that's a good way to start. This map mode is so brutal. Like, Mako has so many options and so many things that can happen on this map, and the tower control layout, the, the, the tower path, it can snowball so fast. That means, like, there's always a comeback that's possible, and there's always a big, big push that's going to create so many opportunities, and when the tower is right there under the, the enemy drop, you can get into their, into their base and create so much havoc, and make so many, so many points. I love to see that. I hate to play it, because it's always a pain, and you can never... Never know what's going to happen to you, but I love to watch other people have pain on it because there, there's always a comeback possible. That does say a lot about us commentators, doesn't it? That the things that we enjoy are the things that we would never want to play on ourselves just because of how chaotic and stressful they are to do. But yeah, the drop uh, the drop point with the tower is such a crucial part of this map. Um, uh -huh. Really, really is a key uh, thing, uh, element that makes a big difference. And uh, the, these two teams, Booyah Gang, we've seen them so many times. We know yeah. what they bring. Opium just knocked out No Way, which were the team that were representing the pencil. So the pencil has been <laughs> Lane. I'm sorry, folks, but maybe we'll see another one with the way these comps are tonight. Who knows? Come on, Booyah Gang, avenge the pencil. Oh, will <laughs> Opium confirm why they got here? I see lots of uh, screaming their names on the side of Opium. I mean, yeah, they, they yeah. Scream their, their team name too, so I guess it's uh, consistent. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. They're uh, they're living up to the title. We've got Kit Kat as well <laughs> using the Nova to go for immediate inkjet spam, and that was what 14 seconds. And they're skybound shooting <laughs> uh, nukes at people. Doesn't manage to get picks, but does displace a few people. Um, they have seem to be starting the push, getting the crab Ooh. tank out. They have just lost the Tetris. And oh, <laughs> Dung Beetle rolling out the way there, but looking pretty scrappy so far. Don't think we're going to see any big pushes yet, Pat. Yeah, and um, push is going to come for Opium right now, but they are already under contention. Booyagang is going to punish that attempt to ride the tower. <laughs> Right now, nobody has called any points and both teams are just trying to take that control because if you don't have control of the first checkpoint pushing the tower, it is just asking to get shot out. And oh, uh, yeah. r right now, right now it's Opium like trying to really confirm that control on mid so that they can advance the tower, but things are still contested. Oh, right now it's just one splash standing on the side of Booyagang and Opium can advance. Well, this is what you were saying about Mako Pat. There's nowhere to hide, and I think in the span of that uh, string of sentences, we must have seen, what, six or seven squid deaths at different times, but yep. Opium getting the first big push here, getting past checkpoint one, slowly creeping towards the drop, which we know is a big... Oh, that's disgusting! That's disgusting! Inch madness! Wonderful! Already not wasting any time here, folks! Uh, absolutely disgusting play. Uh, Opium now through the drop. Getting into enemy territory, Booyah Gang flailing to try and find some control here. It's one player side, they're through all the checkpoints and they've lost two players. So uh, it looks like Booyah Gang might finally be able to stop that initial push, but blimey Pat, that is going to scare them and that is going to force their hand here. 
That's a way to get an opening push opium on fire on that push. They did everything right and they got to 29 from that. And it's not over. They keep the tower onto Booyagung's side. They don't want to give Booyagung any opportunity. And even though it's 3v3, like they keep the pressure on. They don't want Booyagung to feel like they can move forward. But right now it's too down for opium. Well, there, there's a respawn, but. Booyagang, they're, they're just looking to get control of their own base still. They're, they're not trying to attack. Again, there's no point attacking until you have full control. Because there are so many flanks on this map, so many things that can happen. that you really want to be sure that things are gonna go there, your way before you commit to a push. And right now, the Nova is going to, well, run, uh, uh, run away and uh, survive their own inkjet. We are going, they, they are full versus two, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like they struggle just to get anything going their way. Okay, they're not struggling anymore, Chile. <laughs> oh, no, it's moving so quickly. Look, the map has actually turned very yellow. But again, like you say, Pat, they were taking the time. They needed to get that control of the mid before they pushed. This is their moment. We've talked about how this map is one that can spiral really, really quickly. Here comes the clutch drop point where lots of things happen. This is where the big pushes are made. That is two down for Opium. That is Crab Tanks and Inkjets out in coordination together. That is yeah, a players yeah. advantage for Bia Gang. We're at the final, the next checkpoint that they really need to get. They're doing everything they can to make it happen. They still have a player's advantage. They've got two Ooh. players up right now, but they need to get back Ooh. on this tower. The tower is retreating. The objective needs to be held. Someone does get on. They're doing everything they can to make it hard for Opium to get Ooh. out of spawn. But it's getting messy. They've got to sit at this checkpoint with massive pressure. Here comes another inkjet. And I think they might be able to do it, Pat. They've got two down still. Three down. There's only the ball point alive, Pat. I think they might take the lead here. Booyang, yeah, they're in there, Badu with the Tetras, and it's absolutely shredding! And it's just, the checkpoint is going to go, and Booyang is looking to make some more points, and the Tetras are still dancing everywhere and maintaining the chaos. Booyang looking to get that last checkpoint, they finally, Opium getting some breathing, pushing Booyang out, and 4 versus 2. Right now, Booyagang, they have to get back into mid and... What?! <laughs> okay! Just watch the tower! Did you notice that? I was just... I, did, I, I, I thought it was... I thought everyone was moving back <laughs> into mid and someone just went for a solo what? joyride. What?! Okay, I've, no, I've seen sneaky Rainmaker pushes, I've seen sneaky Clam Blitz pushes, but like, just riding the tower without anyone noticing. <laughs> what um, was that?! It, folks, <laughs> if, if that doesn't give you an idea of how Paddling Pool has been this evening, then welcome back to Paddling Pool. This happens every <laughs> week. This is, this is every week, every Wednesday, shenanigans like this happen live, and... I mean, Booyah Gang, um, Booyah Gang, you know, they, they are always on the tournament grind. They're a really stellar team, but Opium, for the for a long portion of that match, had a dominating lead. And it's, it's kind of like we were saying at the beginning, Pat, there is the potential to snowball yeah. on this map. And Booyah Gang just got there one moment. They waited really patiently for it. And as soon as they got that there, that was absolute carnage. It was scrambling to try and shut them down but um yeah quite quite a cheesy ending <laughs> i love it you cheese tower go i didn't know it. that's not supposed to be possible these are like top teams they, that's like weird I, I i i don't know what to say and uh, that was crazy that's like both of these teams have shown us that they have so much aggressivity, the, the capacity to, the ability to, to do so much. And, mm -hmm. and just like such a power play, such like a, a misdirection by, mm. by Booyah Gang, like that, like respect. Yeah, definitely, definitely. What a bad time for Majora to have gone for their shower and just, just <laughs> miss all that absolute carnage. But just a friendly reminder, folks, we are still in best of three stages here for this set and the next set. So this is tournament life for Opium. They had really, really good potential in that previous game. They need to take this game to stay in this tournament. So 
not an easy feat against a team like Booyah Gang. We just saw uh, what, what they can do. But um, it was a very evenly matched uh, game in many ways. And we'll see what happens yeah. there. It looks like immediately the textures have gone down. So Opium 4v3 up just for initial control of this zone. Yeah, and Booyah Gang has the inkjet on the Nova, but Opium has double inkjet. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of air support in this game, and it looks like Opium is going to get the first fight, and they're going to get the zone and score some points right away. Yeah, very, very good start for Opium. They have just lost a player now, and Bia Ganga pulling out their specials to see if they can respond. We do see an inkjet war in the corner. We do see the Bia bomb coming out to assist, but Bia Ganga have lost two players here, so a little bit unfortunate timing for the Bia bomb. It looks like it is probably going to get covered up. Bia Gang managing to stall the timer, but can they get a penalty? It's pretty challenging to cap Museum, but they do manage to do so. And it looks like we're going to see quite a neutral engagement in, in mid here now, Pat. It's a little bit harder to get into enemy plat and enemy territory on zones. But as I say that, the Zipcasters are coming out to try and do some damage. Yeah, Zipcasters are trying to go after the Inkjet. It looks like Bia Gang is able to, to really establish their defensive positions. Scratch that, Morgana is already in there creating absolute chaos, not caring. That's really aggressive gameplay we have here. Wow. And that's, that's a takeover by Opium. They lost the lead here, but they apply penalty and they get a very good push in Chile. Can we just discuss that uh, movement as well from the Zap? They had multiple people firing at them and they were just bobbing yeah. and weaving round the, the bits of terrain in the central pillar in mid to survive that and then got what looked like a KO and an assist. So that was really good survivability in challenging circumstances. That's been crucial in Opium taking back the lead. But you saw BR Gang's hold, it was good. They do know how to recover. Look at this coordination. Crab Tank, Booyah Bomb, Inkjet. Ooh. You cannot hold that off. And that is a beautiful retake by Booyah Gang, but it required every bit of their resources to do it. Yeah, all their resources, but they kept the lead going their way. But that means Opium is back in control of the zone right now and looking to get rid of their penalty and finally get that lead back. We're just halfway through the game and both teams are just one point away from each other. Yeah, and it's so, so even. Even the penalty scores are relatively even here, but with Booyah Gang in control and a slight lead, they will take these constant back and forth exchanges on the zone. It looks like they're managing to push quite deep now, forcing a tactical to come out right in Opium spawn, really. Look at this, the Booyah Bomb and the Jet coming out into Opium's plat here. So, looks like they're scrambling now, they're struggling to get out of the base. Booyah Gang is so deep into Opium's platform right now. They just don't care they just attacked as much as they could and it's paying off right now just 10 points away from victory Booyah Gang is back on the zone painting if they can avoid penalty here they get the W but it's just the splash right now Opium just need to put some paint on the floor and they apply penalty and stay alive Booyah Gang just 6 points away from qualifying to the next and everybody's there everybody's there on the so, Jimmy, and the penalty. Just someone take the zone, please! And they get it! And they get it, and that's going to be the end for Opium! That was just 30 seconds of all eight players <laughs> scrambling around for paint control on a map on a zone that is notoriously hard to cap, but uh Booyah Gang incredibly consistent gave their uh Teammates jumps, they did get that little bit of a quicker response into mid, it felt like, after so many players went down and clutching it out. So we have been denied our first game three of the tournament, Pat, but I mean, we can't say we weren't entertained. Both of those games were absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, like, this was such close finish by Buya Gang, and both of these games, like, showed us so much action and both of these teams are absolutely pushing the other uh, and Booyah Gang just snatching the victory just showing like that edge that extra thing that allows them to to snatch the, the KO and snatch that victory that's really like congratulations to them and now they will advance to quarterfinals
Yeah, absolutely. That that grind that BR Gang do every single week here, paying off just that slight edge when it came to resilience, just slightly quicker retakes, slightly quicker responses. Opium just having that little bit harder a time getting back that control in mids where, where it was gradually slipping away from him as that game went on. But they can be incredibly proud of their run. Um, they gave us an incredibly entertaining um, set and they did very, very well given we've got 52 teams this tournament and the calibre of that these teams has been incredible they can still be incredibly proud of how they've played um i do believe we're going to have a very short break from the action while uh we look for what our quarterfinals game is going to be but do not go anywhere folks there is so much more action before this tournament is done um you're not going to want to miss a thing <laughs> 